Here we go, John Cena versus Chris Jericho for the title. Already Cena saying, you can't see me. And knocking down Chris Jericho, money in the bank. And whoever wins this match will be the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. John Cena got the headlock on Chris Jericho. Taking him down. Uh, I don't know if Chris Jericho was prepared for this, but Cena got the headlock. Belly to belly suplex early on. Cena is taking a huge advantage on Chris Jericho. Again, I don't know if Chris Jericho was prepared for this fight of Cena. But no, look at this. Float over neck breaker by the Jericho Holic. He's been champion for a, a tiny, tiny bit. After defeating Daniel Bryan for that title, you definitely know he's not looking to lose the title anytime soon. And wrenching back the arm, beautifully made. Now Cena out of nowhere, Lutez press. You know, those series of strikes taking out Chris Jericho. And we do know if Cena wins this match, he will be the new champion. One arm suplex again. Chris Jericho has to get out, of, had to get out of there and take a breather. He, again, I don't think he was prepared for this kind of matchup against Cena. As how could you be? He's now running off the ropes. Looks like he's gonna go for a move there. Now it's Chris Jericho bringing him in. Big suplex from the outside to the inside. As again, how could you, it's hard to, to prepare against a guy like Cena, a guy who just never gives up and gives it a, his 100% heart. That's what Cena does is, a lot of people hate him, call him Mr. Five Moves of Doom. And, but Cena does put on some good matches from time to time. There's no doubt about that. But the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, is Chris Jericho has to face that man as another belly button suplex by John Cena. As I all know, you see the fans are booing, but you know what was setting up. You can't see me. Five knuckles shuffle. The end could be near, ladies and gentlemen. Going for the pin. And now Chris Jericho kicking out at one. We know what usually sets up. Oh my God, Cena throwing Chris Jericho up in the air, catching him. Hey, hey. And just like that, Cena beats Jericho. Just like that, we have a new champion. I, I can't believe this. It's Chris Jericho really got any offense at all. And already we have a new champion? I I am shocked. We The second month in a row, and we already have a new champion. First, it was Chris Jericho who defeated Daniel Bryan. And now, now John Cena has defeated Chris Jericho as a new champion. I Absolutely astounded. It's now Batista. We knew that Batista was the number one contender for a bunch of the Rio title. And he's going to be taking him. As no one has defeated Del Rio for the title. Now Dolph Ziggler did defeat him on Thursday Night Smackdown. And yes, RVD has beat him before in the past. But it was not for the title. Therefore, he has never technically been beaten for the title. But could that all change tonight? Could Batista, could he beat the Bertha Del Rio for that title? We do know that John Cena just defeated Chris Jericho for the title. So could Batista, could we have another title? Could we have, we've already had two title changes. Can we have a third? Can we have the trifecta? That's my question here. Is, that's, that's what my question is here. Money in the bank. As we do know that 
This match is going to be something here. Tito taking on Berto Del Rio. Tito already with a strike. Locking up here. Batista on the back. After losing to The Undertaker on Thursday night, you got to believe that Batista just wants to try to win and try to come back. Is both of these competitors going back and forth? Is all look at this. Del Rio belly to belly suplex. If we know Del Rio is not one to back down from any fight, not if you're the dead man or he doesn't really care who you are. Oh, wait, look at this. Batista. Batista. Oh, rolling him over. You don't really see that too often by Batista. Looks like Batista is trying to maybe go for a statement here. Is now Batista picking up the world champion. Big vertical suplex. Already the powerhouse effect. Oh, Batista is he's telling him, come on. Again, Batista. If he could beat the world champion, he's looking, he's been looking to capture the world heavyweight championship for a very long time now. This could be his opportunity. This could be his chance. It's now the real Iris whip into the corner. Almost really wrenching the back of Batista. Now got the headlock locked in. Wait, look at this. Big slam by Del Rio taking out the champion taking out Batista see we not the champion It's now Del Rio stomping on Batista just like he did against Dolph As we do know and see that there's Del Rio going on those again We do know Del Rio he's not afraid to hurt you and that's that's something scary to think about when a person is not afraid to just dismantle you like that. Just like he's, he's doing those repeated strikes. When a person is not afraid to dismantle you. What what do you do? What do you do? If for some reason Del Rio's mouth is wide open. And a big slam. Going for pit one, two, and for some reason Del Rio. For some reason Del Rio's mouth is wide open. It's kind of creepy. For some, I don't know if Del Rio is just. I, I, maybe Batista broke his jaw. Maybe that's what it is. And now Batista, look at this, power slamming Del Rio, going for the pin. And now Del Rio. He's not going to give up yet. Can I go for a clothesline? Nope. And now the big Irish whip by Del Rio. And to the post is again, that's kind of creepy as Del Rio's mouth is open like that. It's, it's a little bit weird. Is all look at this. Now Batista. Both of these competitors going back and forth, and that's vintage Batista right there. I'll tell you that. Now I'll throw him to the post, and Batista with a spear. And he's telling Del Rio to bring it. He's telling Del Rio to give it his all. Wait. He says, Del Rio says, fine. Oh, God. That insiguri on the back of the head of Batista. That move has put Batista out before. Going for the pin, and not even a one count. And now Batista, looking to take the advantage on top of Del Rio. Del Rio reverses it, picks him up, back Ricker, lands him on his knee. Is now oh look at this trying to go for spine buster Del Rio counters DDT. And again Batista. He's gotta do a lot in this match if he wants to become the world champion. That that, that might just be my opinion, but he's doing all these things. And you think the world champion is just gonna give up like that? There's no way.
Jason with a big punch to the face. Oh, wait. Del Rio catching him belly to belly suplex. Batista kicking out at one. This is for the World Heavyweight Championship. And Batista exploding out of the corner. A big clothesline. Batista, it seems like Batista is doing everything in his power he can. Is now picking him up from the ground. Big suplex. Wait, what the heck is Batista doing? Wait, what the heck? Batista going top rope? No. I've never seen Batista go top rope. Oh, and he, that's why. Oh, Batista's looking. I mean, excuse me, Del Rio. Can be looking for the end. Looking to end it. But wait, Batista countered. Spine buster. Batista's looking to win this. He's saying thumbs down. Wait. Del Rio. This could be it if Del Rio hits this. And no, Batista. Batista yet again. Batista bomb. Could it be it? Could it be it? He hits the Batista bomb. But wait, Batista's too tired. Go for the pin. Go for the pin. It could be over. Come on, ref. One, two, three. Batista got it. A new champion. Batista finally did it. Batista hitting that Batista bomb. It, it made him a little bit tired. And just when you thought, oh, Batista's not going to get it. It was just enough to put him out. We have a new champion. Batista has finally achieved what he's been wanting for the past couple of months. He's finally defeated Del Rio, becoming the new World Heavyweight Champion.